The express train will start in Block 37 here where we're located. Chopper 2 flew over the loop. The train will start under Randolph on its way toward the Kennedy. Now here's the entire proposed route from the Kennedy. It will head to Halstead and from Halstead Street northwest under Milwaukee Avenue. And then the tunnels would then run northwest under Elston Avenue near Goose Island before crossing the Kennedy Expressway and heading west to O'Hare. CBS 2's Jim Williams live above part of that route, which is Randolph Street. Jim. Rob, the tunnels would be about 30 feet below where we're standing here. Pedestrians and businesses would not be disrupted. Engineers promise, but it would be an enormous project. Before these cars can make the promised 12 minute trip to O'Hare, construction workers will have to build 17 miles of twin tunnels. The boring equipment Elon Musk will use is far more sophisticated than the excavation methods that made way for Chicago's subway system, says Northwestern University civil engineering professor James Hamilton. You're building the supports as you go, and in that way, you can um, go quickly through the soil and you can also. Um, do a really good job controlling ground settlements. Still, Hamilton wonders whether Musk can get the project done on time at only a billion dollars. And I'm an optimistic person by nature, but when you're tunneling underground, you're bound to uh, encounter all kinds of surprises and things won't go as planned. Musk says he'll pick up the tab for it all, even if it goes over budget. Alderman Scott Wagesback is skeptical. That's what they're saying here is that it won't cost taxpayers a dime. Uh, I think that that's been proven to be wrong over several years of looking at contracts that the city has undergone. There is a role for doubters. People should question things. But Elon Musk says look at his track record, building the Tesla cars and the SpaceX program from scratch. Now it is the world's leading launch company, uh, recently exceeding Russia, China, and uh, Boeing and Lockheed, Boeing and Lockheed combined. So well where all the dirt go from the excavated tunnels, the Musk company says they're investigating the possibility of recycling the dirt into bricks for structures. Live in the loop, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Jim, we're talking about 12 person cars. How many will they need and are they worried about meeting demand? Well, they're saying that they're going to have about 2,000 passengers an hour going from Block 37 to O'Hare, and they believe they'll have enough cars. All right. Jim Williams, thank you.